Hey kids, this week the book is Words to Love By. Did you know you have the power to change someone's life with your words? I love you. Oh, those are special words that make people feel so good inside. Words may be small, but they can do big things. Words can encourage, like, I believe in you. You're going to be great. You really, you're really good at that. They can bring out the best in people. I knew you could do it. Well done, you did it. This is beautiful. Words can spread love and kindness. Do you need help? Let me help you. Please share and thank you. And they let others know that they're not alone. Do you want to play with us? They're asking someone on the playground who doesn't seem to have a friend to join them in a game of catch. Words can show respect. After you, ma'am. Oh, how thoughtful. Would you like to go first? Oh, thank you. And let the world know how thankful we are. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This card says, world's best mom. <gasps> Thanks, that makes me smile. Words can heal. Oh, it looks like he by accident tore her little leg off. I'm sorry. And she says, I forgive you. And that helps build up friendships. Sometimes words are spoken in anger and unkind things are said that you don't really mean. I don't like you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Oh, oh. So be careful with your words. Once you've said them out into the world, you can't get them back. He said, why don't you leave me alone? You can't catch those words and she can't scrub them away like I don't like you. She's already said it. The words you use show what's in your heart. So if your heart is filled with kindness, friendship, caring, happiness, great job, love, all those good words, it's going to come out of our mouths. I love you. I'm glad you're in my life. You're the best. God wants you to have a heart filled with kindness and love. Words are powerful and should be used wisely. They can steer you in the direction you want to go. These are bad words or words that we don't like to use, like you're awful, I'm angry, you're ugly, you're mean. This can change when we use kind words, like like and I forgive you, I love you, you're nice, I appreciate you. Do you want to share? If you don't like where you're headed, try changing the way you talk. I'm happy for you. You're special. Love, I'm grateful. I care. Please and thank you. Sometimes it's best not to speak at all. Sometimes it's better just to listen. But always keep in mind, the words you choose today can change your life and someone else's too. Hey kids, I chose that book, Words to Love By, because I thought we've been with our families for a few weeks now, right? And we're probably saying some things that aren't kind. Um, so I thought maybe we need to be reminded to use words that build and bless. Because in God's word, in Ephesians 4, 29, it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs so that it may benefit those who listen. We want to build and bless. So I've come up with three different ways that you could practice using words of love. The first one is just taking a simple jar like this, any size jars will do, and you write everybody's name on a piece of paper. So like if we were in the Sullivan's family, it would be Kim, 
and Kelly and Avery and Amelia. And so each night at the dinner table, you could pull out a name. Oh, look, it's Amelia. And then each one of you around the table could say something that you love about Amelia or something that she may have done that day that made you feel really special. Or another way you could do it, <clears throat> say you're in the Mitchell family and Chris and Carrie, if they're both there at home, anytime Stella or Anna or Jane say something kind or sweet, something that builds up, or even saying please and thank you, they could run and you could write it down and go, oh, Stella. And you maybe can either write down what she said or just put her name down and you put it in the jar. So all day long, you're listening for ways that the girls have used kind words, please and thank you, and I'm sorry, and please forgive me, or you're special, or I love you, things like that. And you store them up for one day, and then at bedtime or even dinner time, you can pull them out and, sh and just share with each other all the wonderful ways that you have shown love through your words. And the last one, you see this picture here, you could even put each person's name on a big heart and then underneath write something that you love on each heart. So say you're uh, in the Hale family. So then it would be Mark and Kathleen and her and those kids, Ben and Bo and Amelia and <laughs> Nora. <laughs> and you can have all those names on the wall with a big heart and then each night at the dinner table say something that you love about each one. So again, you could pull out Mark's name and everybody gets to say something that they love about their dad. So these are three different ways that you can use this book and you can do it at bedtime or at dinner time, even breakfast time or lunchtime, but it's getting our families to look for ways that we can build and bless.